having this four-day event, which is scheduled to run from the 18th to the 21st of October at the Rosa Estate Catching Ground. You may also recall that this is the third, this will be the third time we are going to the Catching Ground. The first time we went there in 2010, uh, it happened so open and we were so blessed. Lots of rain, sunny conditions. Last year we held it here. It was very dry. We got excellent turnout, excellent participation. This year we're going here once again. I am particularly happy again to be associated with the launching of Barbies Expo and Trade Fair. This is the 18th occasion on which such an event is going to be held. And it is certainly one of the largest single events in this region over the last 18 years. There can be no doubt about that. It gives the business community, not only here in our region, but outside of the region, coming from the rest of Diana and perhaps outside of Diana, an opportunity to display their products, an opportunity to exhibit whatever they are producing or whatever they have to say, and it also gives the people of the region an opportunity to see what is being showcased and what is available within the region and outside of the region. So it's an activity that benefits not only the business community, but it also benefits the people of our region in a big way. And our people have never really hesitated to support this event. In four days, almost every single day, there has been so much crowd at these events, this particular event. It just goes to show how much people are looking forward the Barbies Expo and Trade Fair. Over the last year, the venue, as Tate said, has shifted from Albion to Rosa. And this year again is going to be at Rosa. Perhaps because of the preparation of Albion now into a major field. But suffice it to say, even at Rosa, the event has been a major, major success. And I know how difficult it is to organize such a massive event. That is not plenty. Four days of events, four days of displays and showcases is not easy to organize. And so congratulations are in order to the Central Quarantine Chamber of Commerce, the President, the members, and all others who are involved in organizing this event. They have done so admirably over the years. And I'm sure that this particular event coming up in October is going to be one of a similar nature. Today marks a significant moment for our region as we gather here to launch the 18th Barbies Exposition and the Trade Fair under the theme oil, gas, and agriculture for a sustainable future. This theme resonates deeply with the current dynamics of our economy and our collective aspiration for a prosperous and sustainable future. Burmese has always been a region known for its resilience, diversity, and potential. It has a rich history grounded in agriculture, one of the pillars of our economy. Agriculture has provide, provided sustenance, jobs, and economic stability for generations. And now, we stand on the precipice of a new era, one that combines our agriculture roots 
with the emerging opportunities in oil and the gas sector. The discovery and development of oil and gas resources in our country have undoubtedly brought about great excitement and anticipation. It has opened doors to new economic prospects, job creation, infrastructure development, and two, two glaring examples of massive work being done. If we travel, those of us who came from New Amsterdam, if we could pass Palmyra, we will see the magnitude of, of investment that's happening here. And for those of us who have not done, I challenge you today to understand and know what's happening in our own backyard at Port Morant. I, I passed there a few days ago. Um, about two months I didn't go there because on the way to my farm I passed there. And the massive development that is going on in the back there, I challenge that we should go there, see, so we can understand and know where Barbies is going. Now with all these opportunities, these there come immense responsibility and also challenges comes with them. Ladies and gentlemen, at this juncture, I want to emphasize the critical, the critical role that the Central Quarantine Chamber of Commerce plays in this journey. The Chamber is not merely an institution, it is a dynamic force that represents the heartbeat of our business community. It is a driving engine for economic growth, entrepreneurship, and regional development. The Chamber's responsibility in this transformative phase is multifaceted. First, advocacy for balanced growth. The Chamber must advocate for policies that ensure that while we harness the benefits of oil and gas, we also invest in our critical sectors, especially agriculture. It is vital to ensure that the growth from these sectors is inclusive and benefit all citizens. Number two, promoting sustainable practices. As the voice of the business, the Chamber should encourage and support sustainable business practices. We must lead by example and champion corporate responsibilities, ensuring that economic growth does not come at the expense of our environment and community welfare. Thirdly, fostering partnerships and innovation. This exposition and trade fair provides a platform to foster partnership among stakeholders, local businesses, investors, government agency, and the international community. The Chamber is rightly positioned to facilitate collaboration, driving innovation, and ensure that our industries are interconnected, robust, and forward-thinking. Fourthly, building capacity and resilience. It is essential to build the capacity of our local workforce and businesses to benefit from the opportunities presented by the oil, gas, and agriculture sectors. The Chamber has a role in organizing training programs, which we are doing, workshops, and knowledge sharing sessions to ensure that our businesses and workforce are equipped with the skills needed to thrive in this evolving economy. Ladies and gentlemen, as we look to the future, we presented with a unique, we are presented with a unique opportunity, an opportunity to grow our economy, empower our people, and develop our region in a way that is sustainable, equitable, and inclusive. The team, oil, gas, and agriculture for a sustainable future is not a slogan. It is a call to action. It is a call for innovation, collaboration, and responsible stewardship of our resources. At this point, I would probably say, for the past 17 Boris Expos, the government of Ghana, and by extension, the Ministry of Agriculture, Ministry of Tourism, the Regional Administration of Region Number 6, has been collaborating, partnering, and supporting the biggest event in Barbies, as in Barbies Expo and Trade Fair. In closing, let us all join forces and let move forward with a vision of a Barbies that is not only an economic powerhouse, but also a model for sustainable development. Let us work together, government, businesses, civil societies, 
and communities to ensure that our growth is balanced, our environment is protected, and our future is secure. I'm very happy to be here at the launch of the Barbies Expo and Trade Fair 2024. Under the team Innovation in Oil and Gas and Agriculture for a Sustainable, for a sustainable Future. This annual event is a significant platform that brings together stakeholders from across not only Region 6 or Barbies, but across the country, showcasing strength and diversity of our local businesses and industries. As Guyana emerges as a global player in the oil and gas industry, the agriculture sector takes on even greater importance in ensuring a balanced and resilient economy. While oil revenue presents tremendous opportunities for growth, it is essential that agriculture remains a strong pillar of our development, safeguarding food security, employment, and rural livelihood. The oil and gas sector, the oil and gas industry offers new avenues for investment in agriculture, allowing us to modernize the sector, build infrastructure, and boost production by strategically using the wealth generated from oil to strengthen and diversify agriculture. In that way, we can create a sustainable and inclusive economic future for all Guyanese. And when I said modernizing the sector, the chairman alluded to one part of it just now, but right here in Barbies, we are seeing a transformation of the bedrock of the Barbies economy. And what is that? The agriculture sector. Right now, as I'm speaking, Government is expending more than $7 billion in building and modernizing the water network, the irrigation and drainage system for us in Region 6. And that's a tremendous and large investment. As I'm speaking, we are building two Hope Light Canals, one at Manchester, Lancaster, one at numbers 52, 51 areas, high-level canals that will drain directly to the Atlantic. So the problems that we have been faced with over the years of flooding, that will reduce tremendously. We are also constructing an embankment from number 66 to Kanji, so that we can keep away the water from the backland to come into the, and put stress into the cultivation and housing area drainage. So, Barbies holds a special place for us in the heart of our nation. Known for its rich agricultural heritage and hardworking people, this region has always been one of the pillars of Guyana's economy. We now see agriculture not only as crop production, we are doing a lot of things. We have started, we have built one of the most state of the art abitoir in Angola. We'll commission that very shortly. The only state-of-the-art one ever built in Guyana, we have built it recently for a cost of over $500 million with the IDB we have joined. Very shortly, I will ask the president to come and commission it. We have started the Banami Prance project. We had the first experimental plot harvested a few days back with 595, 495 kilos of Brackenham Vanami prawns. We have 10 ponds already built. The private sector is invited to take up, take up the opportunities that are being provided there. And this is a very lucrative business. So these are new business you can get in, involved in. Right here in Region 6. Region 6 had a, sus, a subsistence farming where farmers used to, used to do their brackish water shrimp. The president said, let us invest and help them to, to enhance 
their holdings. And last year, that industry brought into Region 6 $1.8 billion. Imagine that. Those money circulated in the village economy. $1.8 billion. Brackish water serving production. We have moved production from 10,000 kilograms monthly when we started out, and we are only 75% in that project to now about 100,000 kilograms monthly. And those that you, you, you see those money are circulated um, with, within the communities. Those are real benefits that we are bringing to the people, rural population in our country. So this trade fair here will expand business opportunities in Region 6. We have built several agroprocessing processing facilities across the region. So we are not only asking farmers in the agriculture sector to diversify into other crops. We are also working with the farmers to enhance their products, to make it more value added. That is why now Humani, we are partnered with Humani to construct the, the, the processing plant in Lagoshola. They are purchasing all the pepper, the okra, and so we have a ready market. We are now building one in Crawford Creek and one in Oriola processing plant so that farmers can go there. We have different lines where they could process their produce. And the new GMC now is trying to get fine market and working with trader to find market. So as we continue to transform our agri-food system, and build our resilience, 2024-2025 will be no difference. We'll continue to champion food security by investing in this region. And you heard how much is being invested. And only, only a few projects I, I alluded to and talked about. And there are a number of projects more. The government of Guyana is in full support of your effort and will continue to work with the private sector, NGOs, farmers, investors, and residents of Barbies to champion the development of your region through the implementation of policies that will increase food production, reduce food imports, and increase Guyana's exports. Overall, agriculture offers a wide range of business opportunities for entrepreneurs and investors. Whether you are interested in producing and selling food or other agricultural products, developing sustainable farming practice, are leveraging technology to improve efficiency, it is my hope that this event will encourage you to get involved in the exciting and vital industry, this which is agriculture, and at the same time fuel private sector investment to further develop this sector. This afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, as we continue to work together to build Guyana, I implore you to use this opportunity to gather information create lasting partnership, solidify long-term investment, and position yourself as key player in the development of Guyana's economy. We once again congratulate the Central Country Chamber of Commerce for your consistency and formally launch the 18th Annual Barbies Expo 2024. Thank you very much.